66 million years ago, an unimaginable disaster struck. A massive asteroid approaches Earth from the south at a sharp angle, traveling three times faster than a bullet. Its impact was equivalent to 10 billion atomic bombs exploding. For over 20 minutes, the entire planet burned hotter than an oven as fiery debris showered down, sparking wildfires across the globe. The force of the impact caused earthquakes that may have set off volcanic eruptions worldwide, coating western India in molten lava. The devastation continued as thick clouds of dust enveloped the Earth, blocking sunlight for up to 15 years. Charred landscapes turned icy and cold. In the wake of this catastrophe, 75% of all species vanished. However, some creatures managed to survive. Crocodiles, able to go months without food, stayed safe in the water and feasted on dead matter carried by rivers. Birds with teeth went extinct, but those with beaks adapted by accessing tough food sources like seeds. Crucially, our tiny mammal ancestors endured by seeking refuge in shadows and hiding from danger. How would we fare compared to them if we faced the same apocalypse? What if the same asteroid struck again in the same place at the same angle? Would humans cling on or go the way of the dinosaurs? As we explore the mystery of human survival from an asteroid hitting our planet. Here's how you can get involved. Leave a comment with your thoughts, theories or questions about how does DART aim to change the orbit of the asteroid Dimorphos. Like and subscribe to The Real Guy on English Channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on future space explorations. In an instant, Central America and parts of the southern United States would be wiped out by a massive explosion. In just seconds, around 100 million people would lose their lives. Even the noise from the impact would be lethal to those standing up to 1,500 kilometers away. Just a few minutes later, massive earthquakes with magnitudes between 9 and 11 would ripple around the world, stronger than any ever recorded. Towering 100-meter-high tsunamis would sweep over coastlines, flooding areas up to 100 kilometers inland and drowning over 3 billion people. The majority of the falling debris would hit the United States, putting hundreds of millions more at risk. For those farther away, the ground shaking would serve as a clear warning to find shelter underground before the fiery rain began. Around the world, there are millions of fallout shelters ready for emergencies, with hundreds of thousands located in Switzerland alone. Places like Derinkuyu in Turkey and Nushabad in Iran offer underground cities that can protect millions of people. These shelters, along with other improvised ones like mines and subway stations, could potentially save billions of lives from the initial impact of the blast. However, even if these shelters survive the violent earthquakes, most aren't meant to sustain people for extended periods. After the impact, the sky would rain down fiery debris and acid, making any outdoor activity extremely hazardous for years. Only a handful of advanced bunkers built by world governments and wealthy individuals would provide lasting protection. The Raven Rock Mountain Complex in Pennsylvania, managed by the US government, supposedly contains three-story buildings, its own water sources, and enough space for thousands of people. However, the public doesn't know the exact details. Other major nations likely have similar emergency bunkers, meaning that world governments might continue to function, at least for a short while. The ultra-wealthy have been moving to New Zealand because it offers a good chance for self-sufficiency, and many luxurious bunkers with years of supplies have been built there. But the hardest part of survival comes later on. The massive dust cloud would block sunlight, causing crops to fail everywhere. Food supplies would dwindle over time, and clean water would become scarce due to toxic rain. Starvation would become the leading cause of death, potentially wiping out billions of people. 
Despite the harsh conditions following the impact, humanity could still find ways to adapt. Some might survive by harvesting fungi, which thrive without sunlight and flourish after fires. Over time, the climate would shift between cold and hot as excess carbon dioxide from the impact traps heat. Through a combination of creativity and resilience, small groups could endure by rationing, scavenging, and trying makeshift agriculture. However, life as we know it would be greatly diminished. Without advance warning, the future would look grim. But what if we knew the disaster was coming? In September 2022, NASA's DART satellite intentionally collided with a small asteroid 11 million kilometers away. The mission successfully slowed the asteroid's orbit by 32 minutes. Both the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes captured images of the debris plume, demonstrating our ability to safeguard the planet from potential catastrophe. However, not all space rocks are equal. The asteroid NASA targeted was just a tiny fraction of the size of the one that ended the age of the dinosaurs. That massive asteroid was over 10 kilometers wide, larger than Mount Everest. Deflecting such a giant rock poses a far greater challenge. Trying to impact it could break the asteroid into numerous smaller, yet equally dangerous pieces. High explosives might be effective if detonated near the asteroid to change its path, but more precise methods could offer a safer alternative. Scientists propose using lasers to gently push an asteroid into a safer path or attaching big solar sails to steer the asteroid away. Fortunately, astronomers have identified all asteroids larger than one kilometer in our solar system and none pose an immediate threat to Earth. Anything coming from the asteroid belt would allow us years to prepare a defense. But what if we missed one? We don't know much about large asteroids from outside our solar system that could appear suddenly at high speeds with minimal warning. If we had limited time to prepare for an asteroid impact, we'd need a backup plan. Our first move would be to evacuate the Yucatan Peninsula and nearby regions to protect millions from the initial explosion. Then, we could construct self-sustaining, fortified shelters to resist meteorite showers and strong earthquakes. Underground cities could be created from mine shafts and deep caves, powered by nuclear reactors and featuring vertical farms. In locations like Iceland, we could utilize geothermal heat, a renewable energy source independent of sunlight, to provide power until normal conditions returned. Globally, there are over 20,000 kilometers of subway tunnels that could be repurposed into tunnel cities, potentially accommodating over a billion people. Safeguarding seeds, livestock, data, and natural resources would be essential. Secure vaults across the world could safeguard these precious resources until humanity's uncertain future is resolved. The most important resource to protect is water. We can dig deep silos to store vast water reserves lined with acid-resistant materials and sealed off from external damage. When it comes to food production, we might resort to algae farming. Though it may not sound tasty, algae is an excellent emergency food source. It's efficient, can survive in low light, and can be grown vertically in small spaces. Given several years of preparation, we might consider one final daring possibility, abandoning Earth. A select group could establish a small colony on the moon, observing the impending catastrophe from a safe distance, unsure if they'd ever return home. NASA chief gives serious warning. About an asteroid hitting Earth has more details to it, which we were not able to cover in this single video. So here is another part, which you can dive directly by clicking on the I button. Apart from that, what happened to asteroid after it wiped out dinosaurs? We'll dive into that topic in an upcoming video. Would you be interested in seeing a video about how to deflect asteroids? Share your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe to check out other videos from the Real Jayan English channel. And make sure you ring the bell for our latest content.